I count it my rare privilege and honor to have been asked to say few words for late Mr. Shabazz Bhatti on his 10th death anniversary. I knew Shabazz from a very early stage when he was a very young man and a human rights activist. And as an activist, he re really rose to a very high position and started playing a political role. But it was marvelous the way he organized all the minorities and brought them under one flag. All Minorities Alliance. I think this is one of his great work which he did. He spoke for all the minorities and all the minorities gave him a lot of respect and honor. And then he was elected and appointed as the federal minister for minorities. And as a federal minister for minorities, he did a tremendous work. Such a work which was not done by any other leader before him or even afterwards. He was able to get the minorities ministry as a separate ministry at federal and also at the provincial levels. Whereas it used to be just tagged in with the religious, uh, religious ministry and they never gave any importance to the minorities. And as a minister, even though he was elected and appointed through the system which is present, which is not a very satisfactory system, but it was tremendous because it proves the dynamic leadership of Shahbaz Bhatti, that through the same system he came up and then did a lot of work for the minorities. He got the minority seat at the Senate level, which was never given. And then 5% quota in all government and semi-government offices. He got one particular day in the year, 11th of August, as the minorities day, and so and so forth. I personally have a lot of respect for late Shabazz Bhatti. And I had the opportunity and privilege of addressing jointly a number of con press conferences on minority issues. And on his 10th, 10th death anniversary, I want to say, Shabazz, we love you. We remember you. Shabazz, we are trying our best to continue your mission which you did. It is so unfortunately such a dynamic leader was killed by the terrorists because they didn't want such an effective and influenced voice of the minorities. I personally feel that it is it's such a big loss for not only the Christian minority, but for all the minorities. Such a leader has not come up after. His legacy must be continued, his mission must be continued. And as for this virtual conference, I wish you all the best and wish you a success. God bless you and continue Shabazz Ziz. Mission.